Good morning, and I have with me this morning Officer Funny Pants. Well, hello. And he is going to be bringing us some real comedy this morning. But first, a worship song. All right, great, thanks. play games? I sure do. <laughs>
Officer Funny Pants, how about a story from the Bible? That's a great idea. Stories of the Bible, Jesus and the Sinful Woman. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees named Simon asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay, sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah, if this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, that's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man? that he goes around forgiving sins. And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. This is the story of two pencils. One pencil named Bill. Hi, I'm Bill. And one pencil named Tom. Hey, I'm Tom, how you doing? Well, let's talk about Bill for a minute. Uh, okay. Do, do, do. Bill is not a Christian. Well, I don't really need to be a Christian, said Bill. I do pretty well on my own. I like to do things by myself, and I take care of things by myself. You know why? Because I am strong. Well, let me tell you something, Bill. Not all wooden pencils are strong. You see, some things started happening in Bill's life. Oh man, some things are making me sad and things aren't going quite my way. And Bill tried to keep doing things on his own, but I'm tough. I could do this on my own. Bill kept trying to do things on his own and eventually things just got so bad he could not take the pressure, and he snapped. Ouch! Remember, here's Tom. Poor Bill, he snapped under the pressure. Tom realizes that he's just a weak pencil. Well, I am made out of wood, you know. And that he can't do everything on his own. 
Oh no, I know I can't do everything on my own. I need a savior. I need Jesus to help me. I need God to guide my life. So that's the difference between Bill and Tom. Tom knew that he had to trust in God, that he needed God to guide him and make him stronger. Oh yeah, I knew that. And that's why I asked God to be in my heart and asked Jesus to save me. Because the Bible says two are better than one. And now with Jesus with Tom, he doesn't easily crack in the pressure like Bill did. Oh, my back. Tom knows that he needs Jesus as his Savior and that he needs to stay close to him. We are not strong enough, boys and girls, to withstand the trials and sufferings in life all alone, all by ourselves. We need a friend who will stick by us and strengthen us in time of trouble. God has given us that friend, and that is Jesus. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things in him who strengthens me. My prayer is for each one of us that we may live close to Jesus and find strength in him too. Remember, you don't want to be easily broken because these two together can withstand a lot. Stick with Jesus. All right, Mr. Funny Pants, it's time for your comedy skit. Oh boy, do I have some good ones. <laughs> All right, well, let's hear them. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dishes. Uh, dishes who? Dishes the police. Open up. <laughs> oh, that is a good one, Mr. Funny Pants. That is. I got one this time. Why are police such good volleyball players? I don't know why. They serve and protect. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Did you hear? They arrested the Energizer Bunny. What? They arrested the Energizer Bunny? He was charged with battery. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Okay, 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 I got one. Okay, are you ready? What happens when a police officer goes to bed? He's an undercover cop. <laughs> Did you hear Celery got arrested? Celery got arrested? Yeah, he was charged with stalking. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Why did the police officer smell so bad? Why? He was on duty. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Did you hear a cat got a ticket? A cat got a ticket? No, I didn't hear that, Officer Funny Pants. It littered. <laughs> That is so funny. Thank you for coming to be with the boys and girls today. You're welcome. Our police officer, silly. <laughs> well, that's it, friends. And I hope you had as much fun this morning as Officer Funny Pants and I did. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. I'm sure he may be back again. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you next week. <laughs> that's right. <laughs>